Let us understand how we can take care of cumulative or moving aggregations using analytic functions. When it comes to windowing or analytic functions, we can also specify window spec using rows between clause. Even when we do not specify window spec, the default window spec is used. For most of the functions, the default window spec is unbounded preceding and unbounded following, which means within each partition starting from the first record till the last record. You also have special clauses such as current row. Here are some of the examples with respect to rows between. Rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following, which means starting from the first row till the last row within each partition. Rows between unbounded preceding and current row, which means starting from first row and the current row within each partition. Rows between current row and unbounded following, which means starting from the current row until the last row within each partition. Rows between three preceding and current row, which means the previous three, three records and the current row within each partition. Uh, rows between current row and three following, which means the current row and three following within each partition. Rows between three preceding and three following, which means the current row plus three preceding records as well as three following records. We can leverage rows between for cumulative aggregations or moving aggregations. Here is an example of cumulative sum. In this case, I am going to use HR database as we might have connected to retail database because of the previous topic. Let's restart the kernel here. And then we should be able to load SQL magic, create this environment variable. Even though it is not mandatory to specify order by as per syntax for cumulative aggregations, it is a must to specify. If not, you will end up getting incorrect results. In this case, when I say order by, the order by is after partition by. So the syntax will typically look like this, order by e dot salary. If you do not specify the salary, then each time the cumulative results might change depending upon how the data is sorted internally. With order by, you will start getting correct and consistent results. So let me first delete this line here and then run this. Even though it ran without any issues, you should specify order by. Otherwise, you will be getting incorrect or inconsistent results. With typical aggregations, we don't need to specify order by, but with moving or cumulative aggregations, we have to specify order by, even though syntactically it is not enforced. Now let me run this and you should be able to see the results. You might not see the difference between the previous run and this run at this time, but if you do not specify order by, we will be in a risk to get incorrect or inconsistent results. Always use order by if you are trying to get cumulative or moving aggregations. Now let's actually get into the retail DB and see an example with respect to cumulative sum. As we are connected to HR DB, let's restart the kernel so that we can connect it to retail DB without any issues. So I'm restarting the kernel at again, then loading the SQL magic and then creating this database underscore URL environment variable. Here is the example for cumulative sum for every month using daily product revenue in retail database. So first we are trying to get within each month the cumulative sum. This is how the function will look like. Round off sum of t dot revenue. t is nothing but alias for daily revenue. Partition by 2 care of order date, comma yyy hyphen mm. We are extracting month. Then within each month we are sorting data by date. And we are trying to get the cumulative aggregation using the date as sorting column. Here we are saying rows between unbounded preceding and current row, which means starting from the first row till the current row. This is how it will look like. If you see the output, on 25th, we got 31,547 as cumulative revenue. On 26th, it is sum of 31,547 and 54,713, so and so forth. This is how you should be able to get cumulative aggregation within the month using day as the criteria. In this case, we got the cumulative sum. Also, if you observe the data for 2013 August 1st, the cumulative sum is reset because we are trying to get the cumulative sum within the month as we have specified month as part of the partition by. If you want to take care of it globally, you just remove this partition by and you should be able to get cumulative aggregation even globally. Partition by is not mandatory for aggregations, especially for cumulative aggregations. We can remove the partition by clause and we should be able to get the global uh, cumulative aggregation or moving aggregations. That being said, here are examples for three day moving sum as well as average using daily revenue in retail database. So you can see that uh, in this case, it's global. There's no partition by clause here. I just said round off sum of t dot revenue over order by order date rows between three preceding and current row comma two so that we can round it off to two decimals as moving three day revenue. Now you should be able to run this and you can see the output here. So the moving three day revenue is this one. So this is the three day sum. Actually, this is moving four day revenue. If you want to get three day revenue, you just have to say rows between 
two preceding and current row then it will get us the three day moving revenue you can see here so this is uh, some of these three values for first two as there are no enough records you just got partial results but starting from third one you just got the three day moving uh, sum this is the sum of these three records and this is the sum of these three records or these three values so this is how you should be able to get the moving sum if you want to get the moving average you just have to replace sum with the average then you are good to go so this will take care of getting moving three day average here i have to say between two preceding and current row if you want to get the moving five day revenue using previous two days as well as the next two days then you have to say rows between two preceding and two following like this and you should be able to get moving five day revenue with the, the current row at the center of focus now let us run this you can actually get the moving five day revenue with the current row and two previous records and following records so this is the moving five day revenue starting from 25th till 29th this is the moving five day revenue starting from 26th till 30th so and so forth you can add these values and you can actually see the sum matching this one you have to add the revenue for all these five records to get this one and this is the example for uh, moving uh, three day average considering the previous two records and the current record you can see the output here ignore these two for now if you look at this this is nothing but average of these three values if you add these three and divide by three you will get this value this is how you should be able to take care of moving uh, or cumulative aggregations using rows between it's very very powerful and very useful with respect to cumulative as well as moving aggregations make sure you are very comfortable with not only the aggregate functions using partition by but also using uh, rows between clause along with order by to get the moving aggregations or cumulative aggregations